you so much, you room of incredible musical people, for letting me crash your cool party. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, I want to tell you about something on Twitter that made me cry a little bit recently. Uh, it's not what you think. My husband's sitting at that table like, oh, what have the trolls done now? It was happy tears, something nice that a woman shared with me. It was during Te Wiki or Te Reo Māori, and she wrote me a message to say that she was on her journey to learning to speak Te Reo Māori. And it's hard sometimes. She's battling with a little bit of self-doubt and that fear of getting things wrong, and so sometimes she sort of trips over her words. She hesitates a little bit. But she told me that everything changes when she sings in Māori. Yeah, that she, that she finds the, the joy and, and the beauty by putting Māori into music. Um, I totally know how she feels. I was at a hikoi recently, also, for Tuiki or Te Reo Māori. It's a good week, you should get amongst. Um, and I'm standing behind this banner for Te Taurawhiri, like, yeah, woohoo. And um, Esther from Shorten Street is like hashtagging in Māori and being all amazing. And there's all these hundreds of kids from Kura Kaupapa who are kōrero all māori their faces off, and it's a beautiful thing to hear. Bloody Jack Tame is like doing a full interview with Māori TV, and I'm like, oh great, Jack Tame is more of a Māori than I am. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to be a part of, but you know, I'm a human, so I'm freaking out a little bit. And then I hear a guy up ahead, and he's like, toi mai. And I'm like, that's my jam, I know this one. Te waka ki te urunga. Te waka ki te moenga. Te waka ki te takotoronga i takotoa i te waka. And it helps me find a voice. It's a little thing, it's a little thing, you all know it, but it made me feel like I belonged there. And the reason I'm telling you these little stories is because I want tonight's finalists for the APRA 2018 Maioha Award to know that they are not just making beautiful, soulful, precious songs in Māori because they are absolutely doing that, but they're weaving something essential that helps us on our collective journey to becoming a country where everyone embraces Māori. Their songs, these treasures that they are nominated for tonight are the soundtrack to our moments of triumph. Seth, Rhea, Rob, you guys are heroes. And here's a jazzy video that shows you them now. Seth Hapu for Naro Hor. Tane and Te Ore Paki for Te Ahi Kai Po. I mean, eh? Um, but it's my job to announce the winner tonight. 
And the winning song is Te Ahi Kai Po, Ria Ho, Tiki Tane, and Te Ore Paki. Tēnā tātou katoa i te whare, a tātou kua karapine pine mai i raro i te tuanui o tēnei o ngā whare, o te rā mo tēnei o ngā kaupapa whakaharahara, kia tātou katoa, te hunga i ngā kaunui ana, ki wenei o ngā mahi, te mahi waiata, ureira kia koutou e aku raukura, a tēnā koutou me o koutou pūkenga kua whakawhari ki hia mai, Hei tirotiro, hei kapo, e te hunga, e whakarongo ana ki a koutou o tira ki a tātou. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Ki a kutu ngāne, ki a kutu ākana, Seth, Rob, kōrua ko hoa, ko whānau, tēnei a mātou, Ka pōtaea kia kōrua o te rā koutou, nei rā te tūwhakaiti nei, ki mua i tō koutou nga aroaro, me te whakāro anō hoki ki tēnei o ngā whakatau āki, e harataku toa i te toa takitahi, e ngari he toa takitini, ko koutou tērā, ko tātou katoa tērā, ko tēnei tohu, he tohu o te mana Māori motuhake i roto i tēnei o ngā kaupapa, e roto i tēnei o ngā huatanga nō reira. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Ka huri au ki te reo praua, ki a māra mai te katoa, ki waku nei kōrero. It's an absolute honour. I'm shaking at the moment. But if there's some people that I'm able to thank, it's these two wonderful men standing behind me, extremely shy by all accounts. Um, there's a proverbial in our language um, that I just spoke of earlier, which, uh, which speaks to the fact that strength um, is not um, accomplished by one, but it is accomplished by many, uh, success and strength. Um, and these two behind me are the epitome of that for this particular waiata and for my record rules of engagement. This is Te Ori Paki to my left, to your fellow's right, a very, very good friend of mine. Um, No ngai tu hoi, I'm sure he would like me to say that. Um, but uh, we work together on a show called Marae DIY. We host that show together. Uh, my brother's been on that kaupapa for 15 years. It's the longest serving show of its kind in New Zealand. Um, and I've been on that kaupapa for six years. And if, it, if he's taught me anything, it's, um, gosh, how fortunate we are to have a language and a culture like we do. And I humbly follow him around and listen to everything that he says. Um, and it was an honour to have him um, at my side composing this waiata because he's noho tangata whenua i roto i te reo and um, I really admire everything that he's about and what he does so tēnā koe, kei tāku prata tēnā koe and of course this man here needs no introduction uh, one of the most prolific producers in New Zealand who happens to reside in Tauranga Moana where I come from I've been working with him again for about six years and um, what he did, the treatment of this waiata, um, the understanding that he took and the care that he took into creating 
and developing the soundtrack behind this particular song, I'm absolutely in awe of. So thank you very much, my bro Tick. Thank you so, so much. Always a positive energy to be around. Always very, very enjoyable. Kōrua ko Rach, kōtou ko Tamariki. Kasia, Charlie, tēnā koutou. Um, I, I must thank Loop, um, Mikey Tucker, and Dan and the whanau at Loop. I'm the first Te Reo Māori artist that they've had on their register. Um, and in doing so, that's allowed them to think outside the box as well and to think further afield and to think um, about how they actually operate on a daily, especially when I'm in the, in the room. <laughs> Karakia, pronunciation of our place names correctly, pronunciations of names correctly, just making small shifts which makes such a huge difference to the way someone feels, especially if it's their name. So um, thank you very much, my whanau at Loop. Tēnā koutou. And just to wrap up, Te Ahikai Pō translates to the fire burning away at the darkness. This particular waiata was written um, with the Battle of Te Ranga during the 21st, 1864 in mind, which is where I come from in Tauranga Moana. Um, and of course, um, bringing it into the now, where we continue to fight our fight, the good fight, the fight for language, the fight for the retention of culture, the fight to amplify culture, and to make everyone know and everyone here, especially here, aware that our culture is your culture, your culture is my culture, and together we can have a collective identity, like what Kanwa said, if we continue to embrace, <laughs> embrace and embrace, all with love. Tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Kia ora.